Mark Dunn, television production. And this jumbled team of the man who is the telephone. Can you find it? Now you see it. That's how we play. Now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Hello, and welcome to Now You've Treated, a game where the answers are right in front of your eyes if you can find them. Now let's meet today's players. Say hello to Joanne Waller and Jeff Geringer. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Jeff. How are you, Jeff? Hi, Jeff. Well, Joanne, tell me a little about yourself. Well, Jeff, I am a crude oil trader. A refinery here on the West Coast. That's crude oil trader. Yes. Prices of oil doing well? Uh, going up. Going up. That's, That's bad news for us and good, good news, news for, for you. Me. That's how that works. Okay, <laughs> Jeff, what about you? Well, Chuck, I'm a salesperson. I'm a native Californian, and my love is music. However, my tastes are rather very eclectic. Oh, so you'd really like to get into music, huh? No, I just love music, but love I love music? all types of music. All types of yeah. music. Well, hopefully you'll... <laughs> so, good luck to both of you. I want you to take a look at our... <laughs> See it. And audience, we're going to let you continue to see the board, but for the the board will vanish. Now, you will get a look at it when I finish reading each question. Every answer will start at 100 points, but I must warn you that we're going to deduct 15 points for every second it takes you to find the answer. Understand? Mm -hmm. All right, here's the first question. What's the first name of the sex therapist who was trained as an Israeli sniper? Joanne. Line one. That's right. Ruth. Root. That's the word we're looking for. Dr. Root. Dr. Root. Dr. Root. That, that even surprised me. That's correct. You now have 95 o'clock, and that will go on for the first player to reach 1,000 points will win the game and then goes on to challenge our champion. It's as easy as that. How about another question? What do Americans love to buy at the movies that you can't buy at a movie in Russia? Jeff. Line three. Line three. Popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah. I tell you, uh, Jeff, you're quick. That's the maximum number of points. You've got 100 points on the board now. Next question. Who was the first U.S. president born in a hospital? Jeff. Line one. Line one. Carter. Carter. Another 100 points takes you up now to 200 points. Now, what part of Betty Grable's body was insured by Lords of London for $1 million? Joanne. Line three? Line three. Legs. Her legs. That's right. 100 points. You're now at 195. So we just have five points separating the two of you. It's a close game. Well, listen carefully. Your brother's daughter would be your what? Jeff. Line four. Incorrect. I'll repeat the question for you, Joanne. Your brother's daughter would be your what? You have five seconds. Take a look at the board. Go ahead. Just... Line two? Line two is correct. Niece. Niece. That's right. And you get the 95 points, takes your score up to 290. What rugged star is known for his movies with powerful guns and cute chimps? Joanne. Line four. Line four. Clintiswood. Clintiswood, that's right. Another 100 points for Joanne. You're now at 390. Remember, we're playing to 1,000. Now, speaking of Clint Eastwood, he was the mayor of what California city? Uh, Jeff. Line two is correct. Carmel. Carmel, and you get the 95 points, Jeff. Your score is now 290. And Joanne here has 390, 295 for Jeff. What once polluted river now serves as London's chief water supply? Chief water supply. Okay, Joanne. Line one. Line one. Thames. The Thames. 55 points on the year score. Joanne takes you now up to 445. What is the cooking term for setting your dessert on fire? Jeff. Line four. Line four. Flambe. Flambe. Another 95 points for Jeff. You're now at 390. What is the first name who was about to marry for the second time? Jeff. Line two. Line two. Melanie. Melanie Griffith. Yeah. Another 95 points for Jeff. Take your score now to 485. Now that's something. We're at the end of the first round. We'll be right back with a new board, and all the point values will double. Right after this. Oh, Jeff, you're playing a little catch-up there, huh? You'll know it's quick catch-up.
We're back now with our two Now You See It players, and we have a real close game. We've got Joanne with 445 points, and uh, Jeff over there in the lead with 485 points. But from now on, players, the point values will double, so the scores are going to add up very quickly. Remember, it's the first player to reach 1,000 points will win the game, and then go on to meet our champion. All right? Here's our new game board. And the first question, what do most princesses have that poor Queen Elizabeth had to borrow to wear to her wedding? Jeff. Line one. Line one. Tiara. 170 points. Jeff takes your total now to 655. What Nabisco product is the world's best-selling... Jeff. Line four. Line four. Oreo. Oreo. Yeah. Another 160 points. Two, 815. That, Jeff, means that you're within striking distance of a win. Okay? Because we start out at 200 points. Keep that in mind, Joanne. Former First Lady said it's a chore to spend time with what foreign First Lady? Joanne. Line one. It took too much time, Joanne. I'll repeat the question for Jeff. Former First Lady Nancy said that it was a chore to spend time with what foreign First Lady? You have five seconds. Line, Go ahead. Go line ahead. one. Just give it to me. Raise <laughs> Raise You got it. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> You have 180 points, you're at 995, that means you're within five points of a win. All right, Joanne? And, and hopefully you won't... Okay. okay. <laughs> How did sweet Julianne appear in the movie S.O.B. that shocked her fans? Joanne. Line three. Line three. Topless. Topless, and you're still in the game, Joanne. You now have... 635 points, but keep in mind that old Jeff over here is just five points away from a win. Here's the next question. What do people put on French fries that was once so scarce and valuable as money? <laughs> Jeff. Line one. For the win, Jeff. Call. You got it. Congratulations, Jeff. You're our new winner. And Joanne, you played a marvelous game. Well, thank you. You kept him running there, and we've got some nice parting gifts for you. Thanks for Great. joining us today. Thanks a lot. Now, Jeff, if you'll come center stage and join me. That wasn't too tough, was it? No. Now, in just a moment, you'll be going for a chance to take on our champion. And we'll be back with that right after this message. So stay with us. Man, you Welcome back to Now You See It. We're here with our challenger, Jeff. I think we we'll probably call you Quick Hands, Jeff. Quick <laughs> Hands, Jeff. He's a salesman, but I was asking during the commercial break, if you could have any job, any job, what would you take? And you said... I think I'd probably want to be a disc jockey. You'd want to be a disc jockey. Yeah. You've got one of the best who's the announcer on this show, Mark Driscoll. So afterwards, you should be sure and go over and talk with him. I will. I he will. Is, he is He's great. great. Now, you're going to take on our champion. And since this is our very first broadcast, of course, we don't have a champion. So what we did is backstage, we drew lots. And now we do have a champion. We're going to introduce him right now. Say hello to Ken Offenser. Hi, Ken. How you doing, Ken? Say hello to Jeff. Well, Ken, tell me a little about, about yourself. Sure, Chuck. I'm Ken Alphenser, and I'm a credit manager for an advertising company and a rock and roll, a rock and roll trivia right. buff. Have you obviously you've always been interested in rock and roll since I was little bitty. Is there a, a group, one group in particular that you like? Oh, uh, I guess the Beatles and the Supremes are my two favorite uh, groups of all time. So we're not talking about today's top 40. We're talking about uh, 60s, 70s. Mostly so, yeah. Okay. Great. Well, good luck to both of you. And now, let's show the audience our game board. On the board are six words that fit into the category big and famous noses. Yeah. Big and famous <laughs> noses. The first player to find a word associated with that category will take control. So, you've already done it, so put your hands on your book. Ready? Go. Jeff. Line one. Durani. That's a nose. That's one of the ones we're looking yeah. for. Now. Jeff, there are five more words that fit into that category, and if you can find them all in 20 seconds, then you'll get $200. Remember, the category is big and famous noses. Ready. Go. Um, line two, Chopin. That's incorrect. Uh, line four, Malden. That's one. 
Um, line four, Ferrar. Jose Ferrar. Incorrect. Okay, that's that's a tough category. Very tough. Very good. You didn't find all of the answers, and that means now that Ken, you'll have five seconds to find any of the answers that Jeff over here did not find. Okay. Let me recap the words that, that Jeff found for us. He found Durante and Malden, and once again, the category is big and famous noses. Two hundred dollars for you if you can do it. Ready? And on the button. Go ahead, Ken. Cyrano, line three. Line three, Cyrano, you got it. Okay. That's okay. Get a little nervous there. Cyrano, let's uh, review the answers that nobody found. On line two, we had Hope. There's, there's a big and famous nose. Uh, Nixon on line two, and on line four, Farr. Jamie Farr. Okay. The first player to reach $1,000 is our winner, and remember, only the winner gets money. All right, let's take a look at the next category. These are people who get a tip, people who get a tip, and this is worth $300, so hands on your buzzers. Ready, go. Jeff. Line four, doorman. That's correct. Okay, you know what happens here? You've got 20 seconds, you give me five more words that fit into that category, and you will get $300. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Line uh, one, bartender. Line two, waiter. Uh, line two, waiter. That's line one. three, bellboy. Uh, That's two. Line one, bar. In line two, petty. That's three. There are two more. No. Ooh, clock got it. Okay. Going to move over to Ken here. You have a chance to steal it now, Ken. You've got okay, five you go. seconds. Give me one of the remaining answers. Let me, uh, <laughs> doorman. Ken Cabby. These are people who get a tip. You have five seconds. You're playing for $300. Ready? Go. One barber. You got it. $300 takes you a score. Five hundred, five hundred dollars. Okay, the uh, word that we didn't find was on line four, made. Line four, made. All right, gentlemen, let's take the next category. These are things associated with Dracula. And we're playing for four hundred dollars. On your buzzers. Ready. Go. Jeff. Three, Lugosi. Sure, Bella Lugosi. That's one of the words that we're looking for. Now, Jeff, Ken has $500. We're playing for $400. This is your chance to get on the board. Give me five more words. In 20 seconds, we'll give you the money. Okay. You all set? Things yeah. associated with Dracula. Ready. Go. Line one, coffin. Line two, German. One. Line Correct. two, body. Correct. Line four, blood. Four, back. That's two. That's three. There's two more. Five seconds. Line two, escape. Line one, finger. Ooh, there goes the buzzer. There goes the buzzer. Okay, that means it goes over to you, Ken. You have a chance to get up to now another $400. would put you up to $900, very close to a win. Let's go over the answers that Jeff gave us. Lagosi, coffin, blood, and bat. Things associated with Dracula. One more word, and you get the $400 in five seconds. Got your hand on a buzzer. Ready? Go. Quick, Line one, finger. Incorrect. You get the money right over here, the $400. Remember, you must give the correct line and word. We'll go over the ones that you didn't find. On line two, we had cape and steak on line three. Steak on line three. So we've got a very close game now. Ken, you're still in the lead with $500. Jeff, you have $400. A new category. This time, it's dances. Dances, and we're playing for $500, which means, Ken, you could win on this okay so keep that in mind dances hands on your buzzer ready go jeff line one waltz that's a waltz that's one of the words for 20 seconds five more words that fit in that category you'll get the 500 dollars take you up to 900 dollars if not over here we'll have a chance at it and if he gets it of course you know what that means it's I'm all done. done for you yeah you're yeah. done okay <laughs> ready go um Line three, twist. Line three, polka. One, two. Um, line four, tango. That's three. There are two more. Line two, rumba. That's four. Oh. 
Got it on the buzzer. Okay, now, Ken, this means you have a chance to win the game and then move on to our solo round. Okay, all you have to do is give me one of the words and five. Let's repeat the ones that Jeff found for us. He found waltz, twist, polka, tango, and rumba. For $500 more, end the game. You have five seconds. Hands on your buzzer. Ready? Go. Too much time. Jeff, you get the money. It's $900. Okay, there was one more word that nobody found. The answer was on line four. It's square. <laughs> on line four. Well, here's the situation now. We're going to be playing for $600. The category is Army Ranks. Now, one of the two of you will move on to our solo game. $600. Okay, hands on your buzzers. Ready. Go. Ken. Line one, private. That's one of the words we're looking for, a private. Okay, Ken. You don't matter the situation is, if you can give me all five of the words. In 20 seconds, then you'll move on to the solo game. If not, Jeff here still has a chance at it. Okay, $600 and the win. And ready? Go. Hello, Sergeant. That's one. Line three, Captain. Line three, General. Two, three. Line two, Major. That's four. One more. Five seconds. I'm for real. You got it. We're oh. giving it to you. Right on there. Woo! Boy, that was close. Congratulations. You're the winner. Good luck. Well, you've you come down to the wire there. Jeff, you played a great game. You got a very quick hand. We wish you the best of luck, and we have some nice parting gifts for you. Now, Ken, don't do that to you. You're going to give us heart failure all the time. Right? <laughs> now, when we come back, Ken, you'll be playing our solo game for a chance at $5,000. And we'll be back with that right after this. Why don't you join me right up here? We're back with Ken now to play the solo game. So take a look at the solo game board. Now you see it, and now you don't. All right, Ken, let's go over what's going to happen here. I'm going to be asking you 10 questions. You're going to have 60 seconds to find as many of the answers as you can. We'll pay you $100 for every correct answer. If you can find all 10 of the answers, you get $5,000. Now, Ken, just as soon as you find an answer, Here's what you do. You circle it with this electronic pencil. Go ahead and grab it right there. Okay, and then call it out for me. Now, pass if you get stuck on a word. If we have more time, we'll come back to it. Sure thing. You understand? Yep. All right, Ken. Here's the board. And the clock will start after I ask the first question. Hitchcock movie that takes place at the Bates Motel. Psycho. That's right, a baby angel. Pass. A crispy pancake. Waffle. That's right. This could end a game of pinball. Tilt. That's right. Exotic red gem. Ruby. Woodwind instrument. Pass. What Tony Danza first did for a living. Pass. The Mormon church in Utah has a famous one. Pass. Superstar who called his plane the Lisa Marie. Presley. That's right. The company that makes 747s. Pass. Repeating now, a baby angel. Pup. Incorrect. Pass. A baby angel. Okay, woodwind instrument. Oh, fuck that. Okay, well, you did get five correct, and that's $500. Let's go over the ones that you couldn't find. The baby angel is a cherub. Oh, a cherub's gosh. a baby angel. A woodwind instrument is an oboe. What Tony Danza first did for a living, he was a boxer. He boxed, boxed there. Mormon Church in Utah has a very famous choir, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, and the company that makes 747s is the Boeing Aircraft Company. Okay. But you did win some money here, and we'll be back in just a moment to recap your total right after this. Let's stay with you. It's very difficult, I know. Again, you'll be back tomorrow. We have a new game. I'm Chuck Henry. Goodbye, everybody. Some of our departing contestants will receive Con Air's latest innovation top six fashion plates and Thermosel cordless iron and brush. True Reflections Mirror Geometric, Pro Style 1500 Rar Con Air, and kids really go for the rich chocolatey taste of Hershey's syrup and milk. Just ask them.
Hershey syrup makes good things even better. And high potency 3S tablets provide that important vitamin and mineral fortified with iron and zinc. And pledge with pledge, dusting can be beautiful. Now available in spring, fresh scent. And an assortment of fun games with glass notes. A game of Soviet American diplomacy. Digitist, Baker Street, and Gagline, all from John and Hanson Company. And a member of our studio audience will receive Yashika Samurai. A double 35. <laughs> focus cam zooms from wide angle to telephoto. As auto loaded, flash, wind, and rewind delivers twice as many photos. From Television City in Hollywood, this is Mark Driscoll speaking for Now You See It. A Mark Goodson Television Production.